Wadi. Yeah. The only person to take a game off Wadi that entire MSM as well. But here we go. Cruncho using the Joker. And this is not, uh, Like I said before, this guy's Batman. He's the Joker killer. Already going in with that up air. And it's finishing off with the Nair. A lot of the times, the, the Inkling wants to set up after the up air to be able to catch you either off stage with another back air or forward air, depending on where you DI. And the Nair into the grab sets up for another one. And just like that, 75% is what you need to be able to get Arsene just off of pure oh, damage. so close after clipping him with the roller. Almost gets the up air, but might have been death. All right, respects the roller, doesn't try to intercept it. Fear of potentially being buried into the kill, but Shine looks like he's looking at that yeah. right outside of the range of the Hagel. Shine has to watch out his ink, ink, I'm sorry, his ink levels because they are reaching pretty, pretty low. Yeah, I mean, Arsene I respect it for, Yeah, I was gonna say, I respect it for Shine because he's kind of a player who's always stuck to his guns. Like, I know people are picking up Joker, right? They want to try out to be as best as they can with the character, but it's gonna take some time, and for Shine, he's just gonna stick to what he knows, what he's been doing good at so far for the past three months. Yep. And he's definitely one of those players that has been at the hidden boss level, but he just needs a season. And so far, this season looking turned out pretty well for him. Good dash dances, but missing a grab here, and Crunch just goes across the stage with dash attack. Not gonna be able to do much. It's pretty good at catching spot dodges because it has two hits, and it actually kills at very high percents, usually around 160 to 180. Yeah. Looks like just in general, inkling a character that has the speed and the aerials and the air to air to be able to match against a character like Joker. And he's doing that extremely well, especially that Nair intercepting him in the anti airs every time to be able to set up into his tech chase situation or just to get a lot of oh, damage. No. Doesn't quite get the angle on that though, unfortunate. Good stuff from Kuncha though, using the, the bullet arts just to actually hit him downwards. I'm gonna call it bullet arts because you know what, that's what it is, man. It's literally just Dante from Devil May Cry doing, <laughs> doing the same thing from Marvel's Capcom. No, you just gotta say gun. <laughs> yeah, just doing gun. Yeah, no, I like to call it take aim because that's how they describe it in Persona 5. But anyways, the, the rapid jabs will put him off stage. He's got to go recover. Gonna get that trade there. Now a potential opportunity for Cruncho. And I like that he's using that downward take aim to be able to space himself outward to get away from Shine and just trying to mix him up. But just gonna get clipped by that Booyah one more time. The crazy thing about Joker's gun is actually it's a model gun. It's actually not a real gun. Oh. That's, that's the crazy <laughs> thing about yeah, in the game. It's a, it's a model gun. We must be in the demon world then this entire time. Anyways, here we go. No spot on just right through that dash attack. Yes, that there. Yes, oh, actually, all yeah. of. <laughs> I was gonna say like, oh, actually, it's all the metal birds. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, gonna give you the classic nerdy talk, but anyways. Oh yes, tech chase situation. I mean, all of Inkling's aerials can set up in that mid percent to check chases. You can get that jab, jab lock, or just uh, continue on with the damage if you can catch the tech oh. neutral tech. Oh, he got clipped too, and he's able to still recover there on the last second four smash on the landing. All right, Cruncho exhibiting that he does know that there's a landing hitbox on the up B. A yeah. lot of people still forget about that because sometimes Inklings just don't let that opportunity present itself. But he just shields it, gets that forward smash, still bringing it to last stock. Cruncho trying to find his way in the comeback, trying to get that grappling hook to extend the combo here. Dash tag, he's waiting on the landing here, tries to go for a grab. Down to would have been a great move, but unfortunately Shine finds the better of it. Not going to kill just yet. There's the critical hit here. Uh, roller not gonna work, Cruncho gets away from it. I mean, at this point, Cruncho's kinda used to seeing how Roller's been playing out against him, so you know what to do, up throw, up air, not for you, but the third attempt will be the charm. Yeah, he's just throwing out, game one. he's just throwing out take aim a little bit too much and then just caught it on the startup lag. He's able to chase him down and there's just sort of a constant pressure from Shine, able to solidify his first win there. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Cruncho moving on to Kalos. He's got a lot. He's got a wider stage. Maybe he just doesn't want to deal with the potential air-to-air -air combat. He's able to give himself a little bit more breathing room. You know, have some time to think about what he can do now that Arson is available. Because every time he had Arson, Chiang was just there to put him off stage and then just lead trap and just eat out the 30 seconds that he's available for. Yeah. Next game though, Cruncho gonna stick to the Joker. Cruncho's kind of been a player that has been known to pick just the the flavor of the week, right? Like if one thing was broken, he'll just go ahead and immediately dunk a dong high triple triple um, clay pigeon confirms down here, like he kinda of picked that up for a while. Yeah, already setting up the damage 59%. I mean this is the England combo game just in general is very strong. That's not to say Joker's is either, but just just the Got to figure out that opportunity to present itself because Shine is just very good on his defense and avoiding the potential setups. Trying to use the Yeehaw to be able to set up at the ledge, but not oh. quite finding it. The forward smash barely missing its mark. Lucky for Shine. 
uh, down air. He had the right intentions there, but unfortunately, the invincibility on the up B. Wings of Rebellion is going to be able to recover. It goes for the rapid jab. He gets the eat as well. Time to go for the grab. Up throw, up air. That'll take the stock. Good opportunity here because Crunchyroll might have been trying to DI away from the forward throw. At that point, Shinin knows what's going to confirm and take the stock here. Yeah. Yo, man, every time I try to do a Booyah, they always jump out. But Shine and all the other good Inklings, they just know the exact percentage they need to be able to stuff them out, be able to catch the kill there. Oh, the tech chase situation with the Nair, not quite able to find a follow-up. I was going to say, Sash, sometimes it's just not meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, did you see him trying to parry all the bullet arts? He's trying to say, yo, man, Joker, not, not very good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's going to take some time for the character to be optimized. Oh, jab reset into the down smash. Not going to kill, but gets good percent here, and it puts him in the corner carry. Oh, try to catch a roll there with that roller. Not quite able to find it, but of course the ground with the paint going to be able to slow down Joker just a little bit. Ugh. But he gets the up smash to be able to finally set the kill with Arson. Okay, she needs to get in a little bit of time here at the Angel platform. Angles the ink just to make sure you can try to reach uh, Crunchyo. All right, just uh, keeping up his time, pressuring him. Just knows that he's got to stick to the platform. Otherwise, he's very vulnerable. So he's just trying to figure out how he can pressure him. And yeah. the nair to jabs, of course. You can get some really nice block strings with Inkling if you just do landing arrow with the jab. If you try to do something, most of the time, the jab's going to beat it out. Yeah, and at that point, they couldn't let go of the shield, possibly trying to go for a shield grab. But like I said, right, jab's going to be the one that beats it out. He tries to go for a roller and he really crunch will find a punish here, but not going to be paying off too well. 51% is a decent percent, but Shine is still looking for the combos. And the thing about Shine here is he, even though he's not able to, he's losing a lot of Lucho, he's getting the corner carry. He's putting crunch because it's only at the corner, so just one good setup here could change things around for Shine, even though the fact that crunch has a lot of the percents in his favor. Exactly. All right, the up throw into another Nair. Tries oh. to put him on the platform for another potential tech chase situation. And that's just oh. it, the surrounding awareness from Shine. Very smart to be able to try and maximize his neutral exchanges. Yeah, watch yourself there on the whip punish there. Crunchyo finally gets it here. Good opportunity to use the take aim and actually move around. It actually gives you some momentum too as well. So if you're off the stage, you can use those to make sure you come back. Another opportunity here and it's a good option to cancel to the four tilt to the Aha. Gonna be buffed up due to Arsene being active, but it finally time has run out. Arsene only lasts 30 seconds and Crunchyo Go went in pretty well. All right, just intercepts another fair. And potentially on the chase, oh. trying to find the jab check, but not able to find it, but still keeps up the damage. But all of a sudden, very close game that we're seeing here. Cruncho just needs to find that opportunity. Arson not quite available yet, but he's not using the Rebel's Guard. He just knows the danger if he gets caught waiting might be a little bit too high. And the chase again, ah. one more time. Air dodges through, but still, he got the frame trap loops coming in. To mm -hmm. Constant up throws. Oh, that was so close. He even almost, just like an inch away from getting him there on the roll get up. Yeah, he almost made me choke, man. Oh, he catches the roll <laughs> into the Waveland to position himself into the perfect up smash. Just enough ink to be able to set that up, and that's going to be Shin Aang taking it 2-0, moving on to Winter Sense. Kind of conditioned him there to be a little bit scared of getting, like, up throw, up air, because he went for that three times. So for Crunchyroll, he might have been, like, holding off for something different. And the minute that 